You're not gonna get me this time, you son of a. We're back here next to the beautiful Mac Pro that was converted from a thrift store piece of junk to a very nice Linux running computer. And today, this guy beat me up the first time we tried to install it, but we're gonna try for 2.0 today on Supercar Street Racing, so hang in there. Welcome back to Supercar Street Racing, guys. And as you can see today, we have this Lanbon LCD smart switch right here next to me and right here on the screen. And previously this thing kicked my butt because it actually shows a black wire in the instruction manual where it should have been white. But it's my fault because I should have known it was the neutral wire anyway. So taking a look at the LCD smart switch here, it is a dimmer switch. So it gives you the capability to do about four different switches on one switch. The problem is most of your switch ports, the switch in the wall port, meaning the opening or the box for the switch, is going to be a multiple opening and this will not fit because this is designed for a single gang box. Most of your more than one switch boxes in the wall are going to be more than one gang and this uses a one gang switch. Now these are awesome if you do have multiple wiring going to one gang and you can use one switch to control everything in your house or everything on this dimmer with one LCD panel. And today we're going to take a look at this one more time because I did it once and I really failed but today I refuse to lose. All right, we're out here in the garage in front of the smart switch that exists already. It's an LED smart switch. It has been giving me problems, so the routines no longer work. And instead of trying to get this guy working again, what we're going to be doing right here is removing this old switch. And you can see it has one of those screwless faceplates on it. But we're going to be removing that because the new guy has everything we need included with it. So first we take off this faceplate. Once that face plate is off, that's what the outer plate actually attaches to. Once that is off, we have our switch free and clear to go ahead and take out. We just remove the top and the bottom screw here. And that switch should just come right out. I'm trying to get my microphone working. Now taking a look inside of this switch, you see that we have our neutral wire here, which we need again. And then we have our two black wires. It's actually red in this case, but it, it would be black in a normal switch. Now on the back of the Lanbon, you will see that it has a place here for the neutral wire. Neutral wire goes right here where it says N. And what you do is you just loosen up the screw on the bottom and put the wire in there. And then your load goes here and then your other load goes to either one, two, three, or like you have three different places to put loads but your common here goes to L. So. The black will go to one of these two, L or L1. So we're going to go ahead and get that disconnected here real quick. All right, for this job, you're going to need a, and there goes the screws. You're going to need a very small screwdriver to loosen up the screws on the land bond. Go ahead and loosen up the neutral wire the L and the L1, if that's the only, if you're only doing one switch, you only need L and L1. Now, I do have the power on at this point, so I am wearing gloves. Um, I advise you to turn the power off. I never turn the power off, but as a safety precaution, you should always turn the power off. This will shock you, and it, if this touches, 
if this neutral wire touches any any other thing, ground or otherwise, it will definitely pop. Go ahead and put the neutral wire in there where it says N. Insert that all the way and then of course drop your screwdriver. Take two. Go ahead and tighten that down. Don't be scared to torque it. Oh, also forgot to tell you guys, this part does come off. So that has to be mounted separately. So the front part comes off and then you're left with this little plate here. Now, let's go ahead and get the other switch disconnected. Now, what happens basically on the switch is when these two wires make a connection, it sends power up to the switch. We will prove that here momentarily if we just do this. You can see the lights came on. That is the basics of a switch. The neutral wire connects to the switch up there. And then when these two connect to each other down here, it completes the circuit. The white wire will always be connected up in the ceiling to the switch. And then down here you will have the hot wire and when it makes a connection like this, the lights do come on. Now, we gotta get this uh, wire straightened out so we can put it in the back of the terminal here. So we're gonna need our workman's pliers. Now the workman pliers is the most commonly used pliers by an electrician. And they look like this. These are workman's. So we're gonna take that workman and go ahead and straighten out this wire. And we don't need anything that long. The workmen's do have cutters on the back, so you go ahead and cut that off a little bit. Straighten it out completely. Same with the other one. Don't need that much wire on this. Nor do I need that right this moment, but I am gonna need it momentarily. Now we just take our back of our switch. One of these guys goes to L. We'll test it and see if we got it the right way. Tighten that down nice and tight. And then the other guy goes to L1. Okay, we got the Landbond Smart Switch wired. Now the second part of the equation is testing it before we mount it to the wall. And so here is the faceplate. And you can see here, the way it connects is it goes on and then it slides downward. It can only go on one way. And you can see right here, right now, we do have a light in there and it is booting up. So once it comes on, we will see if it lights up the lights in the garage. Now it is a, wants to know if you wanna be a dimmer. Confirm that. Edge lighting on. You can also find it in settings edge lighting. It's telling you how to turn on the edge lighting. Okay, um, it wants us to go ahead and config this now, but I'm gonna skip this for now. And my lights hate that it is a dimmer. And it is working properly. Uh, 
Uh, they don't like the fact that it's a dimmer, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. They're just gonna be on and off 100%. If we go anything under 100, now they're allowing themselves to be dimmed to about 25%, so that's perfect. All right, cool. Now we just gotta install the switch back into the wall. Okay, we did get the menu up finally. You do it by holding up in the upper left hand corner for several seconds and then we wanna go ahead and go into Wi-Fi config there. And there is an easy mode and a hard mode. Let's do the easy and see what we get. Now on the phone, on the phone, we're gonna go ahead and record there as well. So I'm gonna open up X Recorder here real quick and record on the phone. Okay, so on the phone we wanna to go to Smart Life. All right, now let's go to Mode Config here on the front of the device. Oh, it already sees it here. All right, I do have the lights off on the production lighting so you guys can see this better and see the screen, but we have successfully installed the Lanbon dimmer out in the garage. You can see the edge lighting there. I'll do a separate video on how to configure this thing, but it is on right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and power it off. And you can see the garage lighting did go off and you see the better now the edge lighting, which is configurable. If you go inside here, and this light up here does not want to go off forever. If you go in here and you go edge lighting, you can set the colors. So like right here, you can set it to red. And then there's all kinds of other settings as well, and I can't keep that light from going off. But there is a theme that you can go into and set. There's not a ton of different options, but I'm gonna confirm that one. Now you can see the background did change there on the screen there. And if you hold down right here, this is how you get into menu. You hold it down for a 
any number of four or five seconds and you can go into all the settings. And then there's your brightness and stuff for it. I'm going to turn the normal brightness up and the standby brightness up. Screen light time, display angle vertical. And yeah, guys, so now you get, oh, there's some engineering options here. Pretty cool. Great switch. I really like these a lot. It's just too bad that you can't use the dimmer in anything but a one gang because dimmers, I mean, even standard switches usually are in more than one gang box. There's no way to mount this. It would have to be completely custom. So I'm happy with this installation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now back to Brad. Over for the final word on the switch install. So right here on the screen, we have this Landbond Tuya Smart Life LCD Smart Switch that we just installed at the Supercar Street Racing Garage, looking oh so fresh. And if you'd like to purchase one of these, I'll leave a link in the description for you. And I hope that you have good luck with this now that I've installed it twice and I let it beat me one time. I'm not letting it do it twice or three times or ever again. And you guys, I hope you subscribe to the channel and like this video and we'll see you again next time on Supercar Street Racing.